Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Teller back with another Service Management Leadership video. We thank you for joining us on this video and hope you'll look around at some of our other videos. Today's topic has to do with Remedy 9.1 and how do we create a known error ticket, whatever you want to call it, but known error within your Remedy. This is a very, very new functionality for Remedy. The older version struggle with this, so most companies started using JIRA or Quality Center for this, just to track our known errors or defects before we put them into production. Think how valuable that is for our release and deployment process, service validation and testing for SI Till nerds, things like that. So this video is showing you how to, how to put in known error in Remedy 9.1. We thank you for joining us on this video. Here we go. Let's look at how to create a known error on the new Remedy 9.1. We go up to Create New and go down to Known Error. Sometimes it takes a little while. And so this known error is a great new feature for Remedy. It helps to consolidate some of the other tools like Jira or HP Quality Center that some companies use. But let's look at known error title. And so I'm going to just type in um, application XYZ will oh, help if I didn't have the caps on. Application XYZ will not communicate with application. A, B, C. And over here in the description, we'll just say test. So the impact and urgency looks right, and that is calculating our priority assigned, assigned the Calbro services, the default for the Remedy de uh, demos of all the old versions as well. And I do want to remind um, our viewers that this is a demo software, the Remedy 9.0, 9.1. And so it just has the default in there, public access. And so if we look at the affected services, I'm just gonna put internet access, affected asset, we'll just do the, we're just doing all the fake stuff and we'll say application error and we'll say workaround is X, Y, Z. And target date, what date should we pick? Let's just pick sometime way out there, October 12th. And that's all we need to do until we come back and revisit this known error with the resolution. Then is hit save and we are ready to go. Thank you for joining us. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for visiting our channel. Please look around at some of the other videos. Like or share this video. Subscribe to our channel. Leave us feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day. Bye.